Hey there guys, and welcome to episode 14 of Virtual Tennis 4. Uh, as you can tell here, because Spencer Heath, my uh, my agent dude, whatever, is uh, is saying it. This is it. This is the, bit, this is the final one. It's the fourth and final season. It means you've only got a couple of episodes of this, this series left, and the whole thing's going to be done. Imagine it. Yeah, the first big tournament this season is in Vancouver, Canada. This is the last season, you're in focus now! It really pissed me off how the text had justified so it, does that. That, that bugs me. Fuck you, Sage. Oh, that's nice. I'm already qualified for the can for the Canada tournament, because I'm that good. I don't need to do shit beforehand. Literally don't need to do shit. So fuck it, more stars. I'm hellbent on becoming an ultimate star. Also, pre-qualifying for every tournament is super easy. That, that would be cool. Um, I actually think I'm going to be a dick and I'm going to go the bottom way. Yeah. Another special agent. Even more money laid down. Oh, fuck you, Theron. You're just gonna abuse me in like a couple of times. Oh, it's not gonna be long, you're just gonna be like, Oh, you're terrible, fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, you fucking arrogant cunt. Don't come to me being like, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha I'm totally the best. Because I'm 40 stars ahead of you, regardless of how amazing you are. And act like that. Don't, don't be that guy. Don't fucking be that guy. It's quite simple. That's quite annoying, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, game. That's such bullshit. I'm just gonna stack special agents. Fuck any logic that would suggest that that wouldn't be the best thing to do. If the game tells me that's not the best, then fuck them. More stars. Now, I actually, I'm actually gonna play a match of tennis. And I want to win. I want to beat this damn Argentinian. Like, we beat the Argentinians and the Falcons. That's right. History jokes come flying hard and fast in the danger zone. The tennis danger zone. There we go. No, I'm like hell bent on actually winning the match again. After the fuck up against Federer last last time in Wimbledon, I've, I've just got it out for pros. 15, oh. I've returned to my roots of wanting to take down all forms of capitalism and proness in tennis oh. by being capitalism and proness. Oh god, I want to beat all these people. And make them be friends with me because they realise how amazing I am. Fuck you, game. Just, just fuck you. There we go. 34. Let's drag it up to deuce. And then just win that. Come on, work it, boy. Work it. There we go. Slammer jam. Deuce. Yeah, you shake your fist. You shake your fist in glorious victory. Advantage! Hell yeah! Oh. Oh. 
come No, no. Come on, bitch, meet my day. Yeah, fuck you, I win. Let's break his serve. Fucking not give a shit. Get all the stars. Just win. Be the damn best tennis player you can be. Hell yeah. I should go shopping at some point to make my guy look even more fancy dress. He's just not got enough fancy dress going on right now. Maybe, maybe the thoughts of fancy dress were what distracted me there when I lost, but nonetheless. Maybe the game just goes... <laughs> was what made me lose there, but nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it in. Yeah, fuck you, don't come and play at my court, bitch. That's my line. Just come up in here trying to fuck, like, play the game. I think you're a thug. No. I'm the only true thug in this tennis court. Juan Martin Del Potro. You're taking none of your shit. Don't fuck with me, son. You fucked with me and I'm a deuce again. But I seem to approve myself as someone who can actually win a deuce sometimes. Seems to be a thing I can do now. Yeah. Oh, I had to die for that one. Hey, it was out. Yep, he got the advantage. Fuck that guy. Oh. Fuck you, Del Potro. Taking the game. This is going to be a sweet like, little four minute match, but no, fuck you. Now I've got to serve and try and win. Keep making these sweet jump shots. I don't want to have to constantly show off my sweet jumping skills. Just some 210 centimeters tall doesn't mean shit. White men can jump too. Yeah, 30 love. Now if we can actually like just do this straight perfect, that'd be lovely. We could just be done with this guy, try to play against him. I don't even want his clothes. Because that's what you get when you beat these celebrities. These, all these great tennis players. You just get to take their clothes and I don't even want this guy's clothes. Look at that outfit. I think that shit of mine. His blue t-shirt ain't got crap on mine. Neither does his white headband. Neither does his grizzly ass aggressive face. Oh, come on. Oh, I was there. I had that ball.
Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on, game. We want to win. There we go. Nope. Trying to force me back. Oh, come on. I had that again. Stop giving me this bullshit. That was so close to being the best speed. I mean, it was a merely 111 in kilometers per hour, but that's, that's different. No. Motherfucker, stop running me around the court. We're not going to deuce and you're not going to win. In, like the most dickish way. Okay, well, he's not winning the most dickish way. I'm not letting him. I want to win this, damn it. I need this. After Wimbledon, I need this. And why couldn't we have won like that last time? What was so difficult about that? Why did he have to drag it out so long? Why did he have to drag it out so long so he could win? I mean, other than for the whole idea of him actually winning. Fuck you, I had that. Advantage See, look, I get it again easy when it's deuce. Whenever it's match point, no, he, ste he steps up his game. My virtual tennis is not a choker. He's not into auto losing asph asphyxiation. He doesn't choke himself to fuck you, game. He doesn't choke himself to lose. Seriously, can we can we stop doing this where I get to advantage real easy and then I just can't get past the advantage to actually win the game? Because it's a piss take. It's a complete another piss take. Ryan, that guy's crutch. That made me feel a little bit better. Knowing that guy can't have any more kids makes me feel a little bit better, but still not happy about it. I'd have been happier about it if it was the way I won, and I actually won. But no, I just got to advantage for the third friggin' time. So we're going to get the advantage for the fourth friggin' time. So there's been like a four minute match. It's going to be like a ten minute match. This guy really doesn't want us getting far in this episode. So that's basically what this is. is I don't want to lose, but I want to beat this guy in a timely fashion. I don't want to beat this guy, I, I just wanted to do it in a better, more timely fashion so we could track across America faster. But no. Every friggin' time I get to advantage. It's the fourth time now. And then I have to put it with Potra making friggin' serious Sam noises at me. Deuce! Again! Fifth time will be an advantage. I bet we do it really fast again. Yeah, there we go. Fifth advantage. Yet another time when we've done it. Super fast and the rally's barely gone anywhere and we've got to deuce. And we got to oh I got to advantage and then watch us get to deuce again. The exact same reasoning as well is I have to make a little dive shot, then he just hits it the other side. 
every friggin' time. Either can he just get to advantage and win, or can I get to advantage and win? Advantage player one. Can we not be at the sixth time I've gotten to advantage? Or can the game just go, yeah, he's got he's gotten to advantage six times now. He, he's probably won, by all accounts. He's gotten to advantage more times than you need points to win normally. Like it normally takes four four wins to win tennis normally. And I've I'm gonna have gotten to advantage seven times now. At least. At least seven times. Advantage player one. Seventh advantage. This isn't even me choking anymore. This is the game just wanting to drag out advantage and make the woman's advantage lots. Finally! 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 Yeah, too right I got fucking 20 G's marathon runner. Too right, I got an achievement for how fucking long that match took. Jesus Christ. That was a laborious task. That was, like, horrifically laborious. Yeah, I know how to adjust my positions accordingly. That's not a problem. That's not the situation we're having an issue with, game. You know what? I would like to have had that match, but because the other one took so long, I'm not I'm not risking the length of this video for that shit. No. I'm just gonna go play cards. Let's let's go play the Pokemon mini game. It's a bit of a pain. Make a hand. Because you just you just make a hand and then you just go, um, I don't know what hands I'm making. Oh my god, finally we got full house. Straight. Go straight. And go, we're getting points. Hurry up. I feel a bit better now because we're actually getting points. Straight. Full house. Straight. Yeah, we won. It's okay. I feel better I feel a bit better now. We we won something. And it didn't take that long. It didn't take long to play Success. this mini game. And we won it. Yay! Finally! I get to just win at something and not have it take ages. So nice. Right. Yeah, I got paid for that and I got some more stars. Win it, boys. Boys in the top of America. Boy. Hell yeah, level four. I don't want to play level four win match. What kind of weak ass person do you think I am? Keep the rally going. Stop coming to the net, you sabotaging git. 
if the wind strength is high and it's against me. Because that just means the ball is going to come faster against me. And I'd like to, you know, hit the ball. And the game would argue, yeah, you've you've made him, you've made him play like that. No, he's fucking run forward himself to do it. Don't give me that bullshit game. There we go, I won. Thank God. Success! Success! Of course! Shock shush! That was like a really weird Sean Connery there. Trying for a Bane, turn into Sean Connery. It's all good. Oh, hi, Andy Roddick. That's nice. I'm not playing against you. Fuck you. Oh, it was a tournament. It was a doubles tournament. Still not playing there. I still don't really give a shit about playing against any of these professionals. Yeah, I, I am getting a lot of attention, Masatoshi Miyazaki. And I'm gonna kick your ass in Canada. Now we've gone past Walla Walla and Lewiston. Means we're getting serious. Means we're getting places. Yeah, now we use gold. Today we're feeling like gold. Yeah. Yeah, check it. Yeah. Mm hmm. We're gold. We're not tennis heroes, but we are accomplished. Accomplished! His name's Daniel Morgan. He has a really weird face. He's, he's gonna take the prize money, the fans. He's laying claim to it all. He can't wait. Well, I'm still gonna kick his ass. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, guys. I think it's a good time to call episode 14. To end here. We're, we've gone far enough, and I don't want to get embroiled in anything more at this point. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the first the first episode of us of us being in America, North America, Canada, and things. Look forward to maybe hitting the hitting the big tournament next episode. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.